Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is always our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. So excited about what we're going to share with each and every one uh, of you on today. Let me just say that I thank God for allowing us to share with you via our radio ministry. We share radio ministry Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 12.30 p.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we just thank God for the range in which he has allowed us to reach. And so no matter where you are, you are a part of this radio ministry. Let me say that this week is the last week for our September free book giveaway. Uh, we have enjoyed it. Uh, we will let you know when we will do the next one. Uh, what we've done for this month is uh, one ways we have given away free books is by giving a key phrase during our radio broadcasting time. Each day... Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, we have given a free, uh, a phrase, a key phrase, and we've taken the first two emails to give us our key phrase. That's one way we have given away books. Another way, uh, as the Holy Spirit leads us and guides us, we have given away other free books. And so, so far, we have given away copies of the Life Applications Devotional. We have given away copies of The Seven Works of Grace. Also, Becoming a Disciple of Jesus Christ. Um, so excited. Uh, we've also given away copies of Sounding the Alarm, the teaching of the mantleship of the prophetic. And so, we still have a few days left this week Tuesday being today Wednesday and Thursday and which we are looking forward to bless someone with something from Angel Ferguson Ministries our key phrase for today is Jubilee that's right Jubilee that is our key phrase for today if you are one of two we're looking for the first two emails to email us our key phrase for today September the 24th 2024 and we will notify you if you are the recipient if you have one today once we notify you that you have in one we will then ask you for your mailing address and we'll mail you out one of our books uh, that we recently published or another gift from our product line. And so I'm so excited about that. God is good. You know that uh, we are a ministry that uh, we do believe in uh, giving and sowing seed. Um, we do not ask you to uh, sow a seed into us. We do not ask you to send anything in monetary uh, but we are a ministry that we give back to you all right uh, today I want to talk about something that I believe is is very very powerful and it is to reach every individual no matter where you are if you have faith and faith is believing and hoping wishing for we have to grow in our faith and so uh, every individual must take a look at their own personal journey of walking in faith and grow in it and so we grow in faith there is another level of your faith that we have to reach um, it's almost like um, reaching uh, pinnacles or, or reaching a certain level um, once you or we can even say the word goals 
once you have reached and obtained a goal, uh, you want to go higher. And that is where your faith is. Uh, I can almost imagine individuals who run in track. Um, they like to beat their time. And so they set a goal. And they keep working until they reach that particular time. And once they reach it and they maintain it, then they set the tier. They set another level. And that is what we do in our faith. We are to grow in our faith. We are to add to our faith. And so I want to take a look at a scripture text. We've talked about this before. And I believe that uh, the reason why it is coming to me, I'm the first partaker, and then we share it, is that it is because I need to get to another level in my faith. And so we've been doing some things and being quiet about it. And the Holy Spirit is yet speaking and talking to me. And so I am going to be obedient and grow in my faith. Now we're doing some things toward what we want to do and and I was thinking this morning you know individuals may say you know what I'm just going to believe God I'm just going to trust God well faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God also we walk by faith and not by sight we have the example of David when God and gave him the vision to build a temple, to build a house. Now, David desired to do it. And he did speak those things to his assigned prophet, Nathan. And Nathan initially said to him, it is a good idea. Go and do what's in thine heart. But the Lord spoke to Nathan to tell Nathan to go back and tell the king that a son would be the one to build and so that did not deter David David was grateful because God also said that he would establish his throne forever the lineage forever and the Lord moved upon the spirit of the Lord moved upon David and he began to write out the plans for this house this temple what and he was led by the holy spirit now he took it a step further and not only did he write but he also uh, began to put provisions aside and so this tells me that his faith was at another level uh, yes he wrote the plans out but he also moved uh, in another way. He began to make provision and set things in order. So when it was time to present um, the plans to his son, there was also provision. And so I'm saying, okay, Lord, uh, you have graced me with the level of, of faith and I have seen the hand of God move miraculously in what you gave me but I believe that I am being called to another level of faith yes we are trusting God but it takes more than uh, you can't sit idle saying that you're trusting God first of all what are we trusting God for? And are we preparing for what we're trusting for? Uh, and so when we say, oh, I am trusting God to bless me abundantly. Well, what you going to do with it? What you going to do with it? Because we can say, I am trusting God to bless me so that I can do X, Y, Z in ministry. Well... 
are you set up is is the ministry set up is it uh what's the groundwork what is the foundation uh what, what are we doing or is the paperwork in order? Uh, do you have a, a site for uh, the the building? Listen, I don't care if you start with the sign-in sheet to receive these people in. Despise not the day of small beginnings. It is going to take a certain level of faith to begin to get things ready and and get documentation in order uh start doing uh the, the the background work see a lot of times we want to start at the top and there is no foundation so all that menial work that work that uh someone say oh i can do that at any time that's where you need to start because i'm going to tell you that when we put off things like that and say oh i can do that at, at any time uh that that's nothing um that's the stuff that's missed and so if you are looking to uh, in your ministry, in your business, in your organization, if your desire is to service uh, a great multitude of people, then prepare to service that great multitude of people. How are you going to keep a record of that? All depends on uh, the ministry and, and organization. Uh, what what does your sign-in sheets look like? What does your registration sheets look like? Begin to, to, to work the groundwork. What permits do you need? Um, and, and, and things like that. What's your mission? What's your vision? What's your motto? Get the groundwork going. Walking by faith and not by sight. What, 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 what kind of money you got? I'm telling you, despising out the day of small beginnings. I don't care if, if you start saving your change. And you say this is going towards. I'm talking about some faith now. This is going towards that building. This is going towards the equipment that's faith and be consistent in your faith don't start and stop but be consistent in your faith and let me tell you another thing about faith faith is not about discussing uh, with people what you're about to do faith says I walk by faith and not by sight only individuals who need to have access to what you're doing is those who are connected to the vision and it all depends on the area in which they are connected uh, if they are not connected in the foundation of the building then uh, they don't need to know all of the intricate sacred parts of what you are doing uh, th there's another level of faith There is another level of faith. Now, I am I talk about this all the time, and I share it, and I've seen it work. Uh, but it's time for me to go to another level of faith. And, and I can tell you that uh, I am one. Uh, I know things are expensive. And so I believe the Word of God where it says, Despise not the day of small beginnings. And so I will save my change. And I, you will not believe the amount of things that I have been able to do with saving change. I, I pour that change back into uh, ministry opportunities. Recently in July, uh, during the opportunity to go and uh, minister with some ladies, uh, for a women's, uh, it was more like a, to, to me, it was more like a women's conference. Um, but our packaging for what we gave out, I thank God for the seeds that were sown. 
our covenant partner, You'll Overcome Ministries, which you've heard me mention her name, Prophetess Yolanda Lee George. She supplied us with some books, one of her published books, to give out. And I took some jewelry, some custom jewelry from our product line, gave that to the ladies along with them, some other stuff. But the packaging, do you not know I took change? And I went and got the packaging, put it together, uh, because we just like to do things a certain way at a certain level of um, excellence. And I did that out of change. And so I'm saying to you, the reason why I like to give that example is sometimes we're thinking, oh, I can't do that because it's going to cost me a whole lot of money. But if we take the example of King David, he moved at a level of faith that is extraordinary. Uh, he began to collect provision for the vision and keep in mind that at the time he had not met Bathsheba so therefore there was no Solomon and also the first son that Bathsheba and David had had not been born also that baby dis had died so look at the amount of time that had transpired from the time that he got the desire. And I believe that God gave him that desire. God can give you a desire, but we have to know, is it us? Are we preparing forward? What is it that we're supposed to be doing? There is another level of faith and we have to grow in our faith. Now, before we go over to 2 Peter 1 and 5, I want to give our key phrase again. Our key phrase for today, September the 24th, 2024, is Jubilee. During the month of September, we are doing a free book giveaway promotion. And we are accepting the first two emails to give us our word for today. Once you have been notified that you are a winner, then we will ask you for your mailing address and which we will mail you one of our recent book app, uh, book publications or something from our product line. Our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. Once again, the word for today is Jubilee. And our email address is thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com. We're looking for the first two emails. All right. I'm so excited. God is good. He is ministering unto me and I am ministering unto you. And I am saying that it is time for us to go to another level in our faith. And faith is an action. Faith is not idle. Faith does something. And so we cannot just say, yes, I'm believing God for this and then sit idle and don't do anything. God gave David a vision. And he told him that it was going to come to pass. So David believed God and David also moved in action when the Holy Spirit came upon him to write the pattern of the house. And he didn't stop there. He also moved in faith by collecting provision. So now here's something that, that, that happened. After sharing the vision, he invited the people you might hear me clapping. Oh, God, that's good. After sharing the vision, and see, he was instructed to share the vision, he invite, invited the people to give towards the vision. Oh, that's good right there. 
they gave so much that he had to tell them to slow up and then to stop because they had given so much. That's another level of faith. So I want you to think about what it is that God has placed in your heart. And you know that it's of God. I want you to begin to pray about that vision and I want you to begin to ask the Holy Spirit to, to lead and guide you in it and, and as you are instructed I want you to begin to write out the vision mm -hmm. now whenever God gives a vision he, the person he gives the vision to you're the first partaker and so you have to be the first person to give into that vision. You are not supposed to just have a vision and expect everybody else to come and so into it. No. That's your vision. God gave it to you. You so into your vision. You do it. It's time to add to our faith. That tells me there is another level of it. Over in 2 Peter 1st chapter, uh, beginning at the 5th verse, it says, And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith. So add to it. God is good. God is absolutely amazing. I'm looking up another passage of scripture concerning what David began to do I have taught on this several times and I believe that it is what we need. So David gives specific details in writing. Um, over in First Chronicles twenty-eight nineteen, it says, "All this David said, I have in writing as a result of the Lord's hand on me," and so. Clearly, David admonishes, he acknowledges who instructed him. And that's what we have to do as well. Um, as we look at, um, let, me, let me look at, let me look at this chapter in its entirety. Okay, over in First Chronicles chapter 28, it says, And David assembled all the princes of Israel, the princes of the tribes, and the captains of the companies that ministered to the king by course, and the captains over the thousands, and captains over the hundreds, and the stewards over all the substance and possession of the king, and of his sons with the the officers, and with the mighty men, and with all the valiant men unto Jerusalem, then David the king stood up upon his feet and said, Hear me, my brethren and my people. As for me, I had in my heart to build an house of rest for the ark of the covenant of the Lord and for the footstool of our God and had made ready for the building. But God said unto me, Thou shalt not build an house for my name because thou hast been a man of war and hast shed blood how be it the lord god of israel chose me before all the house of my father to be king over israel forever for he hath chosen judah to be the ruler and of the house of judah the house of my father and among the sons of my father he liked me to make me king over all israel 
and of all my sons for the Lord hath given me many sons he hath chosen Solomon my son to sit upon the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel and he said unto me Solomon thy son he shall build my house and my courts for I have chosen him to be my son and I will be his father moreover I will establish his kingdom forever if he be constant to do my commandments and my judgments as at this day now therefore in the sight of all Israel uh, the congregation of the Lord and in the audience of our God keep and seek for all the commandments of the Lord your God that ye may possess this good land and leave it for an inheritance for your children after you forever so here he is uh, about to present unto Solomon all of these things um, verse 9 says and thou Solomon my son know thou the God of thy father and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind for the Lord searcheth all hearts and understanding all the imaginations of the thoughts if thou seek him he will be found of thee but if thou forsake him he will cast thee off forever take heed now for the Lord hath chosen thee to build an house for the sanctuary be strong and do it then David gave to Solomon his son the pattern of the porch and of the houses thereof and of the treasures thereof and of the upper chambers thereof and the inner parlors thereof and of the place of the mercy seat verse 12 and the pattern of all that he had by the spirit of the courts of the house so also he gave him uh, gold by weight uh, everything that was needed and so there was a provision made for what God wanted to do that's what we have to do it is another level of faith now over in the 29th chapter there is more uh, detail about what transpired which makes it just so profound uh, that here in verses basically the whole chapter that here he be he invited the people to give so whenever God invites us to do something we're the first partaker I believe David was one that he put in first that's what we have to do we put in first uh, verse 3 says moreover because I have set my affection to the house of my God I have of my own proper good of good of gold and silver which I have given to the house of my God and above all that I have prepared for the holy house so he was the first partaker and he invited the people to give verse 9 says then the people rejoiced for that they offered willingly because with perfect heart they offered willingly to the Lord and David the king also rejoiced with great joy that's another level of faith we're going to talk more about this tomorrow I believe we're going to do a three-part series of building up your faith and we're going to share some nuggets with you during this series all right don't forget our key phrase for today is jubilee we're looking for the first two emails to email us at the balance of life one at yahoo.com with our key phrase we'll let you know if you are one of the winners and then if you receive that email that says you have won our next step is to ask you for your mailing address and we'll let you know when your package 
is being mailed unto you. Don't forget, we do have a class coming up November the 2nd, Overview of the Ascension Gifts. You can register for this class. It is via our virtual classroom. There is a workbook that will go along with it. Email us today here at thebalanceoflife1 at yahoo.com for more details. Have a great day.